everyone here is another new video and i am in my traditional silk dress this is our traditional shawl called Rita, and this is our traditional silk wrapper called rigu so how we are using silk thread do you want to know so come and join with me and you watch my video till the end silkworm is taken off from this cocoon and this cocoon red color we boil it and add alkali to soften the cocoon once it is boiled and we have to dry in the sun that it turns in this color white color now i'll reel it and i will show how we reel it my grandmother has taught me uh, when she was alive now she's no more and i will show anyone here is a small hook It goes on and on. So I can spin it more. If it is not rotating, then spin it more. Once the thread is long, I will just roll it here. After reeling the thread, we have to make into a silk yarn. Silk yarn we can make into various design. We can make in the shape of this, like this, ball shape, or we can just uh, make in this shape, oval shape, by spinning. To make one silk yarn, we take many days. And this is the shawl. From this, we are making this shawl. This shawl is very warm, especially during winter. It's very comfortable. Both men and women can use it. After 20 to 21 days, butterflies come out from the cocoon. These butterflies we keep in a basket in a traditional way. And then this butterfly will lay eggs. And they lay up to 400 to 500 eggs approximately. And we are able to differentiate male and female butterflies by their size. Mostly female butterflies are larger than the male butterflies in their size. After a few days from the eggs comes out the tiny, tiny larva. <laughs> Sub 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 sub. I want to go now. Yes, ma'am. Mom is called Amai, and Amai is feeding tender tender castor leaves to larva. We can see the growth of caterpillars each day. They grow very fast. Yeah, you can see, very tiny, and they look reddish. Yeah, see, caterpillar finished with all the leaves. Caterpillars. Small. हम लोग यहाँ में थोड़ा वाटर स्प्रिंकल करके रखा है क्योंकि ये सूख जाएगा इसलिए ये फ्रेश रखने के लिए हम लोग यहाँ पानी डाल के थोड़ा स्प्रिंकल करके ये कपड़ा से रख देता है ताकि ये फ्रेश हो जाएगा और बार बार जाने नहीं पड़ता है ये तोड़ने के लिए they will cook after 25 days. doesn't require a lot. Yeah! I will show you how to eat the cat. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bamboos are multi-purpose. From this bamboo, we can make into various ways. See, here mommy is cutting into tiny, tiny uh, different parts and then she will make into a thread, very thin thread. And then from there, we can make a fan or a basket or tie a fencing or when we collect fireworks, we can tie them or we can also tie or bind a tiffin which we prepare from banana leaves we call it wadu very thin as thin as a paper this is bamboo ka rasi this is a banke ah i turn karke this ko yaha pakar ke is a twist karna hai main kaise khana dete hai main aise karungi aise karke aise le ya so they will climb here they will be able to climb here this is how we rear 
still warm. So when they're baby, we keep in a uh, sangkhon. But as they grow bigger, we have to keep in a different place. We have to shift them and we keep in the bamboo. Bearing silkworm has been practicing since early time and silkworm has got two benefits. One, we can eat them as food and the other, the cocoon, we can drill into thread and make into cloth. And silk cloth is known as the world's best quality cloth. And this uh, silkworm, we have to keep in temperature ranging like 20 to 29 degrees Celsius. And our place is best place to rear silkworm because uh, it is between this range. If it is above 30 degrees Celsius, it affects the growth of the silkworm. And if it is uh, in winter, like uh, 20, it goes below 20 degrees Celsius. So it takes longer period of uh, making into cocoon. From hatching of egg to making cocoon, it takes only 25 days in during summer. But in, in winter, it takes uh, like more than 30 days. So rearing silkworm in summer is much easier than winter. Plus we are getting fresh green leaves in summer. But, but in winter, like the, um, it is quite difficult to rear uh, because of finding of leaves. The silkworm that we are rearing right now is the local one. And last year that you have seen in my previous video is from the sericulture department, that is government. So there is a slight difference while rearing these two types of silkworm. And so I know the art of rearing both this silkworm. And if any person from the sericulture department sees this video and find interesting, you can hire me. I'm ever ready to do because I'm excited and all this time of work. Although I did not study and books, but uh, I do practically, so I know it. And I know the art of rearing poultry, pig, goat, and even farming. So I'm ever ready to do in any of this field. If anyone finds interesting, I'm ever ready to do, it, do to do it. Oh oh. So even baby bro is helping me. The whole family is helping. When we are rearing, so one whole family is involved and we are rearing happily. Like, we love looking after this silkworm. And uh, video looks quite blur, blur, because we are inside the storeroom. Baby, where are we going? Or caterpillars. Yes. <laughs> Silworm caterpillars. And with us, ye dodo kutta, I'm looking for a company that I. Ye mami, I'm looking. Ye hero, I'm looking for a job. Sabi Sabi ye basket. Kaha pe? Ah. Uh, is that a farm? Ye sa farm. Now the time is 6 a.m. early morning. Every morning we have to go out to collect cassava leaves and mulberry leaves to feed the caterpillars. Oh. Hey, hey, cassava leaves. Cassava leaves are not for silkworm. We have green green leaves. For नहीं तो अगर येलो लीव्स आ जाने से वो लोग डाइजेशन आ मां डाइजेशन में प्रॉब्लम हो जाता यू माइट बी टू यू व्हाट इज कसावस कसावस आर रूट वेजिटेबल्स इट इज रिच इन फाइबर विटामिन एंड मिनरल एंड लीव्स कंटेन 25% प्रोटीन सो इट्स वेरी गुड अम वी मोस्टली गेट कसावस इन विंटर सीजन व्हेन द लीव्स विल गेट ड्राई एंड वी कैन डिग द अर्थ and get cassavas. It is a root and it's something like sweet potato. But it's quite uh, longer in shape. Baby, look here. He's working very hard. The whole family are working. We work happily together and we laugh and we enjoy working. Here, the cassavas are growing naturally well and we can get both the leaves and roots. And the other part is the bamboos, which are growing naturally, so healthy and fresh, but it's quite stiff and slippery.
On the 18th day, the silkworm caterpillars are ready to make cocoon and we are able to differentiate them by their sound because they make a sound like brop 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 in their legs. Uh, if they are not ready, then they make a sound like prep prep and uh, their body is very very yellowish. Nothing is there in the stomach, all the leaves, urine or number two are empty. They already like removed from the body and now they will make cocoon. You can just hear the sound, okay? <clears throat> My dear sweet viewers, don't be scared by watching this video, okay? These uh, caterpillars are harmless and they don't even know the art of self-defense. Like when um, this uh, housefly and ants come and sting on their body, they can't do anything and they get injured and they die. You know which are ready to make cocoon, we put in a sack and inside that there is dry leaves. Mostly we keep in a like tree shape where we make like a Christmas tree and we put there. But there is open space so like housefly come and sting on their body so we put in a sack. And here I will show you this caterpillar, he got stung by a... So this one housefly. Oh, wait, wait, okay. See, see, black, black, can you see? The fifth day after they finish to make cocoon, we are taking out and keeping in a my jai. Silwam dancing saki saki. Oh, saki saki, saki re, oh, saki saki re. Well. How dancing? <laughs> Who is a better saki dancer? I am. You are the one. I you are the one. one. Saki dancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To do the Uber? That's good. You're do? Yeah. I go. Mama, we can handle the life, you know. Sane, you're the dumb over acting to can, baby. Gira. You can give my stomach. Bus, baby, bus. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be delicious. Come from body. Let's go. Powder chili. Salt. Aldi. Oh, looking delicious, right? So here comes the end of the life of a silkworm. Is it amazing? Amazing, right? Hmm. Now I'm happy, silkworm. Well, thank you for watching till the end. And you can like, and you can also comment, and you can also share my videos. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Bye bye.